Hey guys, it's Tark with Cyclone FPV, and I'm actually getting ready to do a video for you on how to set up our new 24 volt, 400 watt power supply. It's right here. This is an awesome tool to have if you want to do some bench work, if you've got some repairs to do. We're getting ready to open our new facility, uh, and you know we've got a whole lab area going in, so we're gonna have these and some adjustable uh, power supplies. But one of the things I want to do is I want to show you guys how we'd wire this up, and some kind of some tips on how to wire it up so that if you don't need 24 volts and you're kind of limited to let's say maybe a 12 volt. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that too, okay? So I'm going to jump right in this by giving you a top view. We're trying to give you a top view uh, just like this, perhaps. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to look at both sides here. This is going to be our output side, right? And then this is going to be our input side. This is what we're going to plug into the wall. And so as you can see, based on the symbols here, we've got ground, neutral, and load. And so we are going to wire these accordingly. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this and we're going to go yellow, green, and then we're going to go brown, and then we're going to go blue, okay? And I'll show you exactly how we're going to do that. <coughs> Get the wire in here. So what you want to do is go ahead and just kind of get that in there like you can. And I put a little bit, I do put a little bit of the silicone covering over it, the silicone sheath, under the, under the screw just because. And then I'm going to tighten that down as best as I can. All right. Now, uh, I think I dropped the screw. Here it goes because I was unloosening these earlier. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. This is the worst screwdriver to use. Let me go find something a little bit better than this. Hey, babe. What you doing? You know what? You need any help in there? That's my wife I'm talking to you guys, no, by the no, way. I'm good. She's painting and stuff. Hi, right, babe. I love you. Love you. All right. So here we go. So now we're going to go ahead and put the put the screw back in. I still got the wrong screwdriver, but you know what? I'm not getting back up. So let's just... Well, I maybe, maybe I have to get back up. Let me just put this back in real quick. If I can. All right. There we go. I'm going to get pissed in just a minute. I'm going to try. Here we go. Come on, you sucker, get in there. All right, so now we're gonna put the brown wire. All right, just like that. All right, so there we go, all right? So please make sure that if you're using this, if you do get one of these, please make sure to do it in the following. You've got uh, yellow, green, brown, and blue. Blue load, brown neutral, yellow, green, ground. Once you're done, close that plastic cover right there, and you're good to go on this side. Now, we need to do our um, outputs, right? So I'm gonna first plug this in because I want you guys to see what we're working with here. So let me uh, make sure I've got a plug available. I'll take this one, I'm gonna plug this in. All right, but right now it's already kicked on. The fan is spinning and we have uh, our green light right here, okay? So as you can see that. So now what we're gonna do is let's just go take a, let's go take a uh, test of how much voltage we're putting out. <clears throat> let me see, so let me go ahead. All right, now the goal here is to see 24 volts. So we'll go ground and positive. And no, that's, I'm, I'm in the wrong spot here. I apologize. Let me go down here. I'm going to go down there. I think I'll be all right right here. Nope. Uh. Oh, mm -mm. I don't think this is going to do it. Let me see. Yeah, so there you go. Sorry, I was just not getting high enough there. So I exceeded on both of them. But anyways, we're 23.7 volts right now, okay? But now here's the problem. The problem is, is that once you uh, hit your voltage here, like, I mean, this is basically a, uh, what will be four or five, maybe a five between five cell, six cell, right? So if you're running anything that doesn't handle that or you don't want to run that and you want to bring the voltage down, let's say to like, um, I don't know, three cell or less, then what we're going to do is the following. Now we know we're going to, I'm, and I'm averaging at 4.3. So when I say a four cell, I mean uh, a 16 point, uh, 16.9, yeah, 4.2, let's just say 4.2 to keep it easier. So it'd be 16.8, right, volts for a four. So if you go to a five, then you're gonna add another 4.2, so you'll be at 20, and so this would be more like a 6S, okay? Um, so we definitely have a lot of quads that are gonna fly success, so let me go ahead and take this off. So here's what we wanna do now. So your power supply is gonna also come with an XT60, so let's go ahead and we can just simply uh, wire that up if we want to, okay? So I'm going to put this on one end, all right. Oh, 
I'll put this on the positive in here. And now I should be able to touch the uh, right here. And I should be able to get the same thing. So there it is. This is 23. You see that's 23.7. Okay. So good. We're good with that. Now, the one problem we have is that not everything needs to be coming out that way. And so I'm going to use a step down converter right here. And as you can see on a step down converter, it's going to say on this side, it's going to tell you this is the connect to the battery side and this is going to be the output side. So you're going to bring in two to six S of power here and it's going to put out at 12 volts here. Okay. Let me show you how this is going to work. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut these ends off. All right. Something like that because I, I still save that for something else. Let's go ahead and strip these off. Now you can go ahead and tin them if you want. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but I am going to leave this piece of paper on here. Okay. Just out of habit, I like to leave any kind of warnings that come on something, especially this one, because people will get complacent and then they will uh, mess it up. So I want to just go ahead and screw this in and I'm going to put this 12 volt here right on this side. And I'm going to put the ground over here with my ground spot that's still available. Now, let me just go ahead and knock this out. Okay, let's plug this in. Go. Okay. All right, so we've got our now, and now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and close our plastic down. Now we're going to take a reading of this, okay? So let's see where we're at with this. Let's get our ground. Let's get our positive. And there you go. We've just regulated to about 11.3 volts, so we can safely now do work on, uh, uh, let me see, if we do 12, 16, 20, I mean, we, a 3S, uh, a, th a 3S uh, system would be fine on this. And now we could step it down again. And the other option, don't forget, is that you can easily just come in here now and plug in an XT60 cable, and you've just converted this into a uh, less than 12 volt um, uh, XT60 connection to plug into anything else that you need to. So you can do all your testing. So that's how this works, guys. Uh, it's a pretty awesome little device. Uh, I know we've got it. I know we've got it marked down pretty low. Uh, I'm trying to get these as affordable as I can. A whole, a whole new tool section is out, and uh, we've got meters. We've got. Uh, I mean, we got everything. I, you know, I'm trying to get it to where you, we can be your one-stop shop for all your tools. And I'm definitely not trying to raise any prices. I think we'll, most of our stuff's even priced right near cost. Uh, but in either case, so this is the system, and this will basically allow you to do any of the testing that you need to do. And what I'm going to do next is the next video we're going to do is I'm actually going to use this to start showing you the new, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting these tools out here. Um, you'll remember that we did the RC Toolkit uh, test a while back. Well, now we've got two new devices from them, and we're actually gonna use this to uh, start testing them, okay? To give you guys an idea of what we're working with. Just to give you an idea, I'm just gonna plug this in real quick and show you. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do an output. Now that's gonna be output, so let me see. I don't need the output there. Uh, okay, oh, I am, sorry. So let's just go ahead and look at our input. This will take seven volt to 28. So let's go ahead and just put in this at 12. You can see it automatically. Oh, you can't see this, can you? Sorry, I apologize. So you can see it automatically start up. Uh, the screen's a little weird to look at like that, I guess. Let me see if I can make it a little bit better. There you go. So now you can see the screen there, okay? So this is gonna be our servo tester. And just to give you an idea real quickly of what that means, I'm just gonna grab a servo like this one right here, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Uh, let me see where do I wanna put it. I will put it on uh, number four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then what I'll do, that's going to be very hard for you guys to see, but let me see if I can try. Um, well, anyways, if you'll watch this dial right here, I'm going to go to my, I'm going to go to my S4. Uh, let me get down there real quick. And what I want to do is I, I want it to okay we're good there so now i want it to as i turn it now you're going to see this turn you see so this is what this does so part of it is what this does so this is actually awesome for things like motors too if you can power up a motor and then you can put it on here kind of like the test that we used to have um and if you power up the motor and now i did test it with something like this which has an esc built in but you would have to have an esc in order to test this okay but you can easily do it by manual 
or you can tell it to do it automatically. If you tell it you want your input uh, to be, uh, let's just say we want it to be interval, okay? And then we can exit out, and then it'll automatically, once we start it, it'll automatically start doing it on its own, okay? So that'll give us our testing for interval, right? Anyways, that's what this device does. There's more to it, but I just kinda wanna give you an idea on that one. So that's what we're gonna use these power supplies for now, right? So it's gonna be easy for us to show you some things. I've got other power supplies here, but this was the idea of showing you the new one, and I think it like, $24.99 or something like that on our website. All right, so guys, that's gonna wrap it up for now. Um, I will be coming back with some new videos and some of the new product we got. Sorry if I seem flustered, I have not slept for two days. So uh, my words may be slurry or I may be moving a little slow, but the whole point is I'm hoping I'm showing you guys stuff that'll, uh, that'll help you, okay? If you have any questions, you can always hit me up at uh, targetcyclonfbv.com. And please, as always, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh -huh. And uh, that's it, spend time with your family, guys. God bless, it's a holiday season, Christmas. Say Merry Christmas to as many people as you can. And uh, remember to spend time with your family because you don't know how much time you've got left. All right? God bless. See you. Bye.